Cats in the Cradle by Harry Chapin. Fun song here. It's got a kind of that iconic riff to it. And then uh, just some really unique chord changes going on. Uh, we'll dive right in here uh, with the intro riff. It's kind of like that main main riff that just happens a few times throughout that uh, everyone can recognize. And we're going to play it uh, way up here. It's going to be in a, a uh, F key, basically. So we're just going to get this that high F voicing here. And uh, just kind of form it like you would, like a F uh, suspended second. Yeah, so we're kind of making that chord there where we're kind of home base uh, fretting eighth fret on the A all the way down. And then just uh, 10 and 10 on the D and the G. Okay, so we're just kind of keeping that shape throughout picking this. And uh, what we want to do is we want to do the bass note on the 8th fret of the A here and the 10 on the G. Just hit those two together. Okay, and then we're going to do a couple 8s on the E. Alright, so you do that once. So we do the uh, bass note in the G string again. Then we do our pinky down here. We do 10 to 8 on the E. Then we go 8 on the B. And then we can do uh, 10 on the G. And then pinky on the 11 of the B. section we do uh, the 8 on the A with an 8 on the B then come up to the 10 on the G back to the 8 on the B and then do an 8 on the G section we do eight on the A and uh, eight on the B and then we do eight G eight D just kind of picking up on that on the eights all right and then we just finish it all off by making the uh, the F major chord so 8 on the A, 10, 10, 10 on the DGB. All right, now the verse comes in, and uh, from here it's just kind of chords, no big deal. But uh, uh, with this verse, uh, you kind of want to just pick through the chords, you know, so it's going to be in an F, so we'll just make that F major chord here. Okay, no big deal. But uh, you just kind of want to pick through it. Like... Okay, so instead of just... If, you're, if you want to, you can just straight up strum it, no big deal, but if you want to try to get it sounding like the recording, just kind of pick through it instead of just straight up strums. It can just be, you know, kind of improvised picking through it. it doesn't have to be super exact. All right, and then uh, first measure F. Next measure be a G sharp. So same configuration, just slide it up 
to the fourth fret. Let's pick through it. Up two frets to the A sharp. And then back to the F. Repeat that twice. Alright, in this section it's kind of the ending of the verse where it just kind of scales down a bit. Kind of it's a fun progression, I like playing this. So uh, we'll start it here, it's going to be at an E flat. So we'll just do 6th fret on the A, 8, 8, 8 on the D, G, B. And these here you can just straight up uh, strum them once. So we go from there to a, a D bass note with the E flat. So essentially you're just going to want to slide that uh, sixth fret on the A to a five. So a little bit of a stretch, not too crazy. Okay. All right. And then we go to a uh, C minor seven. So it would be third fret on the A, five D, uh, third on the G, four on the B, three on the E, C minor seven. All right. From here we do a that C minor seven, but we throw in a G sharp bass note. So just bring the pinky up to the sixth fret of the E. Okay, so we're just continuing that descending bass note there. All right, and then we just go to a G sharp. a C minor chord with a G bass note. So just the regular C minor here. Okay, third fret A, 5 D, 5 G, 4 B, 3 E. But we're going to want to just bar everything because we're going to want to hit this third fret on the E with it. section will repeat where it's the G sharp C minor with the G bass note to the F. That'll repeat twice. Okay, so we'll try it all together here slowly. comes in. Uh, we start on the F chord. Then we come up to the E flat. Okay, sixth fret of the A, 888 eight, eight on the G B E D. Okay, G sharp to A sharp. Back to F. E flat. Do that little progression we did at the end of the verse. G sharp, C minor with the G bass note to F. Twice on that. All right, all together. section right in the middle there. 
uh, some strings come in and all that, but uh, the chords for that. Okay, so it'll be a C sharp here. Four on A, six on the D, G, B. And that's one measure. And then the second measure is going to be two chords where we do the E flat. So up two frets from that C sharp there. And then uh, two counts on that. And then we do two counts on a C minor. couple measures on an F. Alright, that was Cats in a Cradle by Harry Chapin. Uh, honestly, a song that gets me misty every time I hear it. Pretty sad song, but it's a very cool song. Got a cool riff in there, some interesting chord progressions. Gotta love it, even though it's a sad song. So I uh, hope you enjoyed playing it. I hope you learned something with this. Uh, do me a favor and subscribe. That helped me out a lot. Uh, until next time, spend some time with your kids. We'll see you.